Hey everyone, it's Be Divine. Welcome to Divine Miracles. Thank you so much for being here. And I just have a couple of things that I want to say in the beginning of this video, but we are going to be going over uh, the Angel Tarot. So I want you to choose number one or number two for your messages. This is just a random video that I'm making today. But I'm really excited because I've begun a, a little bit of a journey with offering webinars, etc. So first bit of news is a free webinar is available tomorrow for all patrons. And if you're a patron, you'll get sent a link in the morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning mountain time. And uh, we will be live uh, unlisted and uh, you will be a part of that. So you'll be listening to the webinar on your soul purpose, doing meditations, looking at your blueprints and life themes, etc., and understanding your soul purpose a little bit more. But what I have uh, been developing for some time now, as you all know, is uh, webinars and courses, etc. And I have found a platform now, um, after all the trouble that I've had with the other platform I was using for my webinars, but I have found a platform now that's going to incorporate everything that we need. So there'll be short courses, long courses, 12 week coaching, all kinds of different uh, things that will be available very very beautifully and professionally and easily done that you'll be able to watch and uh, I'm going to be obviously developing a whole lot more in that platform which is fantastic so I'm going to let you guys know when all these things are going to start to be ready um, you will still be able to receive PDFs etc but you'll be able to do the course uh, in your own time it's also going to be including a lot of work on PTSD, mental health issues, anxiety, etc., and how to get through those things, along with your spiritual mastery, working with angels, how to see your aura, channeling, learning how to channel, and also my own uh, versions or recommendations, teachings on uh, healing itself, and my own courses that I offer uh, with healing are all going to be available in one spot now. So I'm so excited because I've needed something like this and uh, very, very soon you guys will be able to access uh, the, the first courses or make a choice what you would like to learn and uh, perhaps it'd be something that uh, you'll benefit from with your own spiritual business or just enhancing your skills or working with healing people more or whatever it is. So these are going to be awesome and i'm really really excited that's why i'm here today doing this video um so i want you to choose either number one or number two and uh, we'll get started i'm going to use the um, angel tarot cards for the reading today and i'm starting off with number one i already have four cards picked out so here it is here's the first one i'm looking at it with you so number one ace of air which is basically like the ace of swords and so on the card it says brilliant new ideas and inspirations seeing the truth of a situation and perhaps a challenging beginning and the energy here is that something that you uh, have been wanting to put across for a time so basically like what I was just saying you know having a platform that does it all is what I needed and uh, here it comes forward so for you there's an idea that you have in the back of your mind or something that you've been wanting to do for some time now and maybe you haven't had the means or the courage or the confidence or the ability to speak up about what you want to do and this is sort of showing that something has changed maybe after the new moon right that new moon was pretty intense and something has changed and now you're able to move forward onto the next part of your journey and it also talks about you being quite supported as you do so as well so um, the unicorn also speaks with us about our abilities especially our third eye so you're kind of being given the information here that you are seeing something really clearly and you need to trust in that energy for sure okay the second card that you received is the King of Water, all right? The message here is open your heart and mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice, and charity work. 
So the king of water is a, usually, obviously, a water sign, male. But it could be someone that holds that vibration of kindness and gentleness and compassion and understanding or someone that you need to speak to or have been meaning to speak to that is going to help you as you progress forward perhaps with your new idea. Sometimes this card can come up to indicate your partner or a parent uh, you know, or someone that you look up to and uh, or someone that's guiding you even from spirit. But focusing you on your own abilities and your own connection and even past life connection uh, to the things that you're trying to achieve now, you know, so obviously many, many lifetimes I've done my this journey before and, uh, you know, been a spiritual guide or, or whatever it is, uh, but maybe I didn't uh, succeed or maybe I had to give up or maybe I was killed for my, you know, whatever it is. So here I am in this life now trying to do it again and trusting in the things uh, that I may not have done before um, and also enhancing the skills that I've had before, right, in past lives, etc. And so this is probably looking at your emotional connection to the past or to somebody uh, that you hold a lot of emotion towards, etc as being the catalyst or the, the person that helps you to change your whole mindset and uh, how you move forward, etc. from here, but that you're supported as you do so. Okay. So, the, okay, excellent. So the third card that you received is the Chariot, and this is Archangel Metatron. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower public recognition this is what you're heading for because of the ideas whoops because of your ideas etc that you've had and your willingness to try your willingness to move forward into a brand new direction and uh, Archangel Metatron also helps you with the Akash so if there's something that you feel uh, definitely past life energy is coming up here so if you feel that you need help with that you know, I do recommend having the uh, past life regression therapy uh, with me at some point, or even I can do a reading for you on your past life. This is something, you know, all the readings that I do, you can tailor make them to whatever it is that you need, right? So this is, this is awesome. And I just go along and, okay, trust the whole thing. It's a fantastic, when you have your own personal reading, it's much more than just reading cards. There's, sometimes I don't even need cards, you know, I just don't even pull them out. But, um, you know, there's so much information that comes through for you anyway. But the chariot here is that movement, that movement forward. And, uh, you know, in some cases this can mean uh, your car or a new car or uh, travel somewhere or whatever. But it also talks about that inner journey of discovery that we're all on and that you're making tremendous uh, str strides now. You're moving forward in exactly the right path for yourself. And it is a, a, also a connection with not being hard on yourself as you move forward as well. Just keep on going with the flow, okay? Fantastic, number one. You've got some really good cards. Uh, the King of Earth, look at him, uh, smiling away there. So the message on here is a successful time confidently accepting opportunities that are offered and the Midas touch right so you have the Midas touch anything that you're touching right now is turning to gold okay and sometimes we don't want everything in our life to turn to gold because we wouldn't be able to do anything with it right so be selective about uh, what you're really focused on Maybe this person is, uh, and there's a lot of transformational energy here with the rainbows and the butterfly energy, but a change is coming and you're going to be, as you can see him, you're going to be laughing, you're going to be smiling at the sense of humor of the angels and the universe. You know, like, oh my God, how did they think of this um, as, as you move forward? So number one, you have two kings in your... Uh, there's obviously two male energies that are of importance right now. 
helping you as you move forward, people that you can rely on, connections that you can uh, make with others. Uh, maybe there's someone that you're not thinking of at the moment that suddenly pops up into your mind. But this also talks about business uh, energy too, when the two kings come together. Same as having three nights as well, there can be business meetings, etc. But it seems like business is at the forefront and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness as well. As well as this new beginning with the unicorn energy here and Archangel Metatron also helping you as you push forward towards your goals, regardless of what anybody thinks. You know, there's always going to be naysayers, uh, which just means that you're doing the right thing because they don't like it, right? So if you're being suppressed somewhere or someone's trying to uh, stop you, then keep going because they don't want the truth coming forward. They don't want to see you succeed, right? And we're seeing a lot of that now too. So number two, if you're just joining in, we are doing the Angel Tarot Cards. And I have a surprise for everybody where I am going to be on a different platform. I'll still be here doing stuff as well, but a platform dedicated to courses and uh, sending out courses and doing different courses, 12 parts, one part, maybe a meditation course or just like whatever it is, it's all about learning and uh, done very, very well, of course, and certificates and all that kind of thing that you're going to get with it. I finally found a platform that is going to be perfect for what I need to be sharing. Okay. So some of you want to learn about channeling and how to channel, you're going to be able to do it at the comfort and your own pace and at home with your own uh, access to different video lessons on it and uh, uh, course materials as well and certificates etc so I've got many different styles of energy healing that I'm going to teach also so I'm really excited about being able to move in this direction it still means I'm going to do YouTube of course it still means I have my patreon page and my social media site etc but all the course material is now going to be in one place, like an academy. And so I'm so happy that I can be able to do this uh, with you all. So let's move into number two. All the cards are ready to go. The first card for number two is the Ace of Water. Interesting because number one, we had the Ace of Swords come right on up. Okay, so this is good. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, and a new home for some of you. So the energy of the Ace of Water is an overflowing time. Now, this can also mean that your emotions in themselves have been a little bit all over the place, right? Because we just had uh, this moon, we've had all these changes and there's all this aggro in the air. And there's all this anxiety in the air and there's all this, uh, nobody knows what the hell's going on and there's crap you know happening everywhere and people are reacting and blah 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 but it sort of shows to me that if you've chosen number two then you've been working on maintaining you've been working on balancing yourself right bringing yourself into empowerment and uh listening to the emotions that are coming forward listening to the advice that's coming through listening to your intuition and following it because we only make so many mistakes when we're not listening to our intuition before we finally say I don't care what it is if there's a red flag or if there's something telling me not to do something I am NOT going to do it right and so the ace of water brings a brand new beginning in regards to love and relationships, how you see yourself, your emotions, etc. Gifts coming forward for you unexpectedly. People that you hadn't heard from in a while coming back into your life or trying to, um, you know, just a whole new way of doing and seeing everything in your life. And that brings us to the energy of Libra with balance here. Uh, and Archangel Zadkiel, who's also the angel for September as well. Very, very good teaching angel. Very, very good healing angel. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise and waiting for perfect timing. So this is not a time to rush 
you know do 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 this is a time for you to maintain your balance maintain your forward movement just one day at a time making sure that you're balancing your emotions your mind your heart your soul your chakras your auric field that you're doing all of the work and then being okay with that so sometimes people do, are doing the work and then they're like, oh, but this isn't, and then this, and so you're, you're getting yourself all worked up in your head again, instead of, you know, saying to yourself, okay, I've done what I needed to do today. Now I'm just going to chill out, all right, and see what unfolds. Don't be in a rush. You know, there's people that are in a rush for their abilities and this and this and this, and then it's all going to happen. But if you're not calm and trusting and you don't trust in what you're doing, then that is never, you're never going to be able to open up your abilities, etc. You're never going to feel calm. You're never going to feel settled. You're never going to feel balanced if all these things are always something that's on your mind and you're going like this all the time, you know? So calm down, bring yourself into balance. Know that, that the universe has got your back, okay? It's all you need to remember if you're overthinking and you're going like this and you can't sleep etc then you say okay I'm doing this again I'm taking back the reins for some reason and I need to just give it back to the universe okay universe take care of it I'm sick of it kind of thing or angels take care of it I'm sick of it whatever it is all right and uh, you'll bring yourself back into calm balance you know so Zadkiel can also help is a very uh, watery kind of an energy too in some case in some cases can help to balance those who may be going through addictions or detox or anything like that as well and you if you're a parent of someone who's who's going through all this detox or whatever then you can ask for the assistance of Zadkiel to help you to say and do just the right things to help provide support for your loved one etc okay interesting cards the third one we have is another major arcana card and it's talking about awakening with archangel gabriel gabriel is the messenger or one of the messenger um angels speaking to you uh, at very very special times in your life but also attuning you to your clear audience okay so something that we're going to be doing in these webinar courses etc is looking at individual angels and even angels you probably never heard of and creating you know a course around what they bring for you and attuning you to that and fine-tuning that energy because you know people say to me well how do you do it and what what do you do firstly I read a lot of books right and I studied a lot of different methods of connecting with angels until I figured out how easy it really was. I was thinking there needed to be some big thing that went on, you know, some big performance that they gave me or something, I don't know, some big booming voice, but then I realized I'd freak out if that happened. So, so individualizing myself with each of the angels and writing to them and connecting with them and doing the work, it wasn't easy you know this is 30 years of doing the work where I'm at now right and uh, I do try to give you those secrets and those ways in which you can move forward working with them because they're very powerful of course as we know completely changed my life working with them and will definitely change yours as well so Gabriel brings that awakening looking at things from a different perspective a temporary waiting period a standstill it's important to be yourself if you and i can't say this um there you go there's the card but i can't say it clear enough because you know when i was beginning this journey i felt that uh and and becoming online like this you know for a long time ago now um i felt that i had to be a certain way or uh, other people were successful in certain ways so i'm thinking okay i'm not doing that what am i doing etc and one of the biggest learning curves was to forget anybody else and their direction and where they're going and instead focus on my own uniqueness and who I am and what I have to bring and how I'm doing it and the way I want things to be and running it myself. Because otherwise what can happen is the comparison 
with other people can really stop you. You can just stop doing whatever you're doing if you're continually um, comparing yourself as less than good enough and that someone else is better and what because they make more money or whatever big deal you know so finding your own uh, awakening in the way that you want to do it and focusing in uh, on your own abilities um, how you like to do things how you do readings or whatever it is for you how you make candles I don't know whatever it is that you do is what wins and you have to begin by accepting yourself completely and trusting in the fact that every step of the way you will be led and guided otherwise you will become lost and then you may not even do anything um, to push yourself forward so this here is uh, looking at uh, being yourself seeing things from a different perspective and understanding that whatever's been um, you know like at the moment things have been sort of like uh, quiet or whatever it is that soon you're going to have an understanding of why that needed to be so that you can bring yourself into a new alignment of where you need to be okay and maybe this will also uh, shed light on it the four of earth and this is about being too frivolous or too cautious with money good business decisions giving to those less fortunate so with the four of earth energy you actually may be concerned about uh, your success will I if I do this will this happen this is another question that a lot of people ask me is oh if I quit my job will something else be better and will I get it really quickly and will I be able to move forward and will it be successful and blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like nothing is going to be successful in your life until you get your mind in a manifesting frame of mind so if you're constantly stressed and worried about any decision that you make right number one you probably won't make a decision but number two if you do then you're going to put yourself into peril you're going to put yourself into a high anxiety and then what right so if you're focusing on anything that you do being easy and anything I do okay that someone something will work out something will come forward I don't need to worry about the details I just need to go forward and I need to trust that I'm going to be supported and guided and loved and you know everything's going to be amazing right and if not now then I'm being led in the direction for those changes to happen so if thinking about life in that way God, you know, you just take off 90 pounds off your back, like straight away, you know? You're not carrying around this big load with you, like freaking out about any decision that you make in case you're somehow wrong. The universe doesn't work like that. The universe doesn't say, oh, you're not on the, the right path for yourself. So, you know, you're wrong and uh, well, you, your life sucks now because you're not on the right path. That's not how the universe works. The universe knows that your purpose is ever expanding okay it's never just one thing it's a, th a ton of things and it's ever expanding they also know that you're in a human capacity right now bogged down by the weight of the world not to mention what's going on for the first time in history right now what we're all sitting in right so it's not like the universe is saying well you're wrong and that's it we're, we're done and closing the door it's that you close the door on that connection and that you focus on loss instead of gain you focus on it being hard instead of easy and you focus on yourself uh, struggling instead of moving forward with grace you know and that things will just appear for you you know you're not believing in that it's, it's like some people have to see solid evidence well you never see solid evidence if you always um, second guess everything you won't see it you'll just see this everything being unstable right so focus on what you want not how you're going to get it so you focus on what you want without limiting yourself and then you allow the universe to bring these openings and that you're also saying that you're open to receiving those openings and that's all you have to do and if you truly honestly do that your life will change like that seriously you will start seeing things happen like this one thing after another 
but you have to sit, do that little bit of extra work too at the beginning, all right? But for number two, something again, it's like you're pushing forward into this new beginning, changing the way that you're seeing the situation, uh, looking at the things that are blocking you because you're only blocking yourself anytime, right? And bringing yourself into balance every single day. Fantastic. So everybody, if you want to join Patreon, it'll be um, just down below the links because tomorrow at 10 o'clock Mountain Time, I'll be live uh, doing the Soul Purpose, uh, blueprinting, etc. And uh, meditations, of course, they're very powerful to bring you into your purpose, part of it, the first part of it maybe, um, or an ever-expanding part of it because we're always doing that. We're always expanding. Uh, I think that you'll find it really, really interesting. And uh, I'll be doing some more things for YouTube too coming up soon. Thank you all for subscribing and being here and hanging in with me. And uh, sending lots and lots of love to you all. Have a wonderful weekend. And until the next time, many blessings. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>